Welcome to the Uni Lab. Today we're talking all about rubber eggs. And don't forget to click the red button to become a Unilander. Now let's go. <laughs> and make it bounce? I can, and I have just the experiment for you all to try. We're talking all about eggs today. Eggshells like our buns are made up of a mineral called calcium. Eggshells specifically are made out of something called calcium carbonate. And while the shell, like our bones, huh? appear to be completely solid, the eggshell or outer membrane of the egg is semi-permeable, meaning water and other substances can easily pass through. A process known as osmosis. <laughs> osmosis is the tendency of water to move across a membrane from a place of high water concentration to low water concentration. And while the process might sound complicated, the important thing to remember is osmosis is the movement of water, not particles dissolved in water. And throughout the process, water keeps moving by osmosis until equilibrium is reached. That means water continues to flow between each side until the concentrations of both are equal. So what does osmosis have to do with making an egg bounce? Excellent question. Let's science. To create your very own bouncy egg, you will need eggs, distilled white vinegar, and a jar. First, carefully place your egg in the jar. Make sure the egg is covered completely or the egg spearmint will scramble all over your house. Wink, wink. Let it sit for 24 hours. Use a spoon to drain your vinegar and then refill. Set aside and wait exactly one week. Oh no, this is gonna be a while. After a week, remove your egg from the jar and rinse it off. This is what your egg will look like after a week. Now comes the fun part. Let's investigate what happens to your egg. As we mentioned before, a chicken's egg is made out of calcium carbonate. That's a complex combination of carbons, calcium, and oxygen. Regular vinegar is made out of acetic acid. And just like when you mix vinegar and baking soda to create a volcano, a similar reaction occurs because of the shell, which has the same carbonate as in baking soda. Except with the egg, it's much less extreme. You can see the reaction almost immediately when you put your egg in the vinegar. Once the shell is gone, the vinegar crosses over the membrane and slightly inflates the egg. But that's not all. This process also does a sort of pickling and hardens the egg on the outside. The toughening on the membrane is what allows you to bounce it. Or roll it around the table. You can do whatever magic, I mean science, you want. What does your egg feel like? What color does it look like? Is it hard or squishy? Does it matter what type of egg or vinegar you use? Let me know in the comments down below. Well, that's all, yokes. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below how you did with this excellent experiment.